Hi, I'm Sandy Benson. Welcome to Talk of the Town. We have a great show ahead, and beginning the show, we have the Savannah Law School, the newest law school in the country. It begins its inaugural year in the coastal city, known for its beautiful architecture, intriguing history, attractions, and of course, great southern cuisine. Its mission is to provide numerous opportunities for, prof for professional development by preparing highly competent and professional lawyers. Here to introduce us to the new school is Associate Dean Rose Ann Nespica. Rose Ann, thank you for joining us today. This is really an exciting addition to the Low Country area and especially um, to Savannah. We hope so. We hope so. Our demographics indicated that Southeast Georgia needed some uh, assistance with regard to access to law schools. And so here we are. John Marshall was in Savannah about 30 years ago. Oh, okay. And ran an evening division, and we have several alumni in the area and some judges. And so we are very excited to be back and to reconnect with that community. So is the law school still accepting applications for the fall because it's getting close? Right. We had a short recruiting season mm -hmm. um, because the uh, ABA gave us permission to open the Savannah Law School in December. Okay. So we had a short recruiting season, so we will be accepting applications probably all the way up until we open the doors. And we're set to have our um, classes begin August 20th. August 20th. And so there's still plenty of time. Of course, there are things that you have to do, like take the exam, it's called the law school, uh, the LSAT is what we call it, uh, the law school admissions test, and you have to have that and have your transcripts and so on and so forth. But we are still actively taking applications. We've had about 463 applications to date, wow. and uh, we had a lot of people in the area take the June LSAT. So we're anxiously awaiting those scores, which will be out the first part of July. So yes, if you're interested, please get on, jump on the website. All the admissions information is there. And uh, come join us. It's yeah, exciting. It is exciting. So do you know when the next LSAT testing will be? for people that are possibly interested but need to, to... June would have been the last one June. that would have helped them. Okay, the for at least the fall correct. admission. Correct. So now the next LSAT, any idea when that is and, and would that allow they them to do them it? four times a year. Okay, so then yeah. they would just... And where do they get that information? They get it from the Law School Admissions Council. Okay. It's a website, LSAC. Okay. And they can get all the information there with regard to LSAT testing. Okay. Um, where exactly is the school located? Ah. The school is going to be located on the actual physical address is 516 Drayton, but it's uh, known as the Old Candler Hospital. So we actually uh, own the Candler Oak, the oldest uh, oak tree in Georgia, mm -hmm. and the whole complex there. Wow. So it's it's going to be a $10 million renovation project. The city is, of course, very excited about it. It's going to phase in over two to three years. Mm -hmm. So we will be on the first two floors of one of the newer parts of the building uh, to begin, and then we'll c continue to renovate, and we'll get to the hospital, the, the historical preservation aspect of it, probably a year from now. Okay. And who is the inaugural faculty? Do you, have you already chosen them? We have. We have. We have um, superstars, basically. Right. Um, we have them coming from Barrie University in Florida. We have uh, a professor coming from Creighton. We have one coming from Laverne in California. We have another faculty member coming from uh, West Virginia Law School. And we have uh, a new faculty member coming from uh, the, the Georgia Bar. Okay. She was actually one of the people who did all of the ethics complaints and so forth for the Georgia Bar. It fit very nicely into our mission of raising uh, the bar with regard to professionalism in the legal profession. So. Right. so say I decided I'd like to go back to law school. Yes. And, but I still need to work. Can I make that, I mean, how does that, how can that work for me? John Marshall, uh, we are a branch of the Atlantis John Marshall Law School, and if you read their mission statement, they'll tell you we are an opportunity law school. And that's one of the aspects that we pride ourselves on is we like those professionals who always wanted to get a degree, but for one reason or another, life happened and it didn't, didn't happen for them. So we have an evening division. Uh, which means that you go a little bit longer, mm -hmm. usually about four years instead of three, um, which can accommodate that. We also have a part-time day division. 
Um, so part-time works for us just as well as full-time and both um, uh, part-time dedicated law students and full-time dedicated law students are welcome. How about financial aid? I'm sure that's a big question for a lot of people. Right. When you are a new law school and you're starting out, financial aid, of course, is very important. So we are offering um, scholarships for those who hit the magic numbers of um, GPA and LSAT scores from 100% to 75% to um, down to 50%. And then, of course, there's federal financial aid on top of that. So we're trying to get good quality students who might not otherwise be able to attend law school. Right. right. So, Roseanne, wh how do people contact you? What's the best way they can gather information to see if they're eligible, how to become eligible? Right. There are several ways to access us. Of course, the website, uh, savannahlawschool.org, uh, is one way. But you can apply through, uh, through your mobile phone. You can apply through LSAC, which is the Law School Admissions Council. You can apply on paper uh, if you need to download it and mail it in, that's fine. Or you can apply directly from the website itself. Okay, terrific. So. Well, I know we have the information up on the screen. Right. And, um, what a wonderful opportunity for anybody that is interested in, you know, either starting law school or right. going back to school. And uh, we thank you for that opportunity. And thank you for this opportunity to talk about it. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Great. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.